Hi, it's Fabienne, and um, it looked like you enjoyed the video that I made the other day about my shrimp pasta recipe. And so I'm going to tell you today what we do in the Fredrickson family, what I do is to get a lot of vegetables into my people who I live with in a tasty way to boost their immunity and also make a quick and healthy uh, dinner. And so come here, I'm showing you, I don't know if you can see this, this is chicken stock that I've been making for a couple days in a large slow cooker that I have. And you can tell it is really dense and wonderful. And I'm making a potato, carrot, and leek soup. I'm gonna show you. Uh, my daughter is saying, because <laughs> we like soups yes. in our family. Um, because I've taste trained the children to like vegetables. And I wanna hope not to Don't burn work. myself. Hurt yourself. Um, I'm actually gonna do it this way. So I'm going to show you. Uh, we're just putting some of these things, and this will take maybe, I think, like 20 minutes to make it very simple. It cooks on its own. But I'm um, leeks are really good, they're super flavorful, they're part of the onion family, and good for you. So I'm basically going to chop all of this up and cook it in the super good for you bone broth. Claire, you would say, Why are we doing this? I want it to be vegetarian, but we've decided that that's what we're doing for now in our family. And Watch out for a vegetable stock recipe. I'm going to make her do it with me. <laughs> <laughs> soon enough. Soon enough. So all of this, we're basically having enough of this to cover, but I am going to teach you my secret recipe, my secret trick to make the soup even silkier. And it's bread. Oh, <laughs> I know. I learned this from my friend, Giovanni Luna from Italy and France. And I know in this carb crazy, like anti-carb crazy world, um, people don't wanna, they wanna stay away from as much bread as possible. But here, I'm here to tell you that not only will this bread make the soup um, silkier, and of course we're gonna put a little heavy cream more, cause you know I love heavy cream or creme fraiche. <laughs> um, but it is also going to make it a little bit more substantial so that you could actually just serve soup with bread for dinner and maybe a little cheese cause you know, we love the cheese uh, and maybe a fruit and you could have soup for dinner and everybody will be full. Do you guys feel full when I make the yes. soup? Yeah, it's pretty good. So that's the first part. I'll show you in just a moment once it's cooked how we get it from pot to delicious silkiness to plate. And it's a one pot dinner. See you in a moment. All right, so how do you know if the soup is ready? Basically, you just, here, come here, I'll show you. you. Basically lift up some of the vegetables and if you can cut the potato and, well, you can't do it right here, the, the carrots easily, then we are ready to go. So just want you to know one of the ways that we make it more filling, ah, this is hot, it just came out of the oven, come is I take some um, old pieces of bread, old meaning it's dry, but it's still good. It doesn't get moldy if you don't put it in a plastic bag. And these will be croutons. Sometimes I saute these with garlic, parsley, but you don't like parsley that much, but lots of garlic, sometimes chilies in olive oil. But we're not gonna do that today. And, uh, and yeah, I'm also starting with some white asparagus. We get that in France quite a bit. This is the, the, this, this is the start of spring season when we have that. So that's our appetizer. This is vinaigrette. I might show you how to make vinaigrette, the mother of all sauces, because you can use it in a thousand different ways. But I steamed these a while back. So I'm just gonna put some vinaigrette and that's the appetizer. This is now a two course meal. That, okay, I'm gonna put this here. And now and I'm preparing a onion tart. You'll notice most of this is vegetarian because hey, listen, it's healthier, it's more economical, and it's delicious. Economical. Well, ecological, is that what you're saying yes. as well? Yes, well, it's both. So, I am going to get in my Vitamix Vitamix. And the secret to doing this 
is to put the solids, not all of it at once. This is gonna get really loud in just a minute. But you put all the solids, mostly solids, in the bottom and a little bit of juice. <laughs> That's an inside joke in our family. What's the joke, bud? It's from an SNL video. It's a, <laughs> tell them which one it is. You, <laughs> all right, so you see, if you just do it on low, this may seem unsafe, but I do this literally every day. Then you can add more, like that. In a way, I'm giving you cooking classes too, Clara. Yeah. We've been talking about this for years. Oh, I added two garlic cloves, I'm just being honest with you. Just to up the flavor factor. I'm doing a pivot your business class tomorrow. Pivot your business class dot com <laughs> on Tuesday, and uh, I will be teaching, or I will be uh, teaching a little bit during class time. So, mm. what do you think of this, Claire? Is it hot? It's a little hot, but you can do it. Oh, that's good. Mm. So that's our dinner tonight. Yum. We got the asparagus. This is my favorite. With, you can do this obviously with green asparagus. And then we have this, this isn't the prettiest color for us. <laughs> it's <laughs> a little bit like. Right? colorful dinner. It's not the most colorful dinner, but the croutons will help make it thicker. And uh, yeah, that's our, well, I don't know. Do you call this healthy meal? Yeah. It's pretty vegetarian. Vegeta Plant-based focus. Yes. Right? All right. 